So that's kind of the sound, okay? Our next piece is called uh, Love Creole Core. And this was a piece that was first recorded in 1927 <coughs> by Duke Ellington. But actually, it wasn't. Because he stole it. It had already been recorded in 1927 by a guy called Joe King Oliver. And then it was called the Camp Meeting Blues. And what happened was, one of Ellington's saxophone players went to him one day and said, Hey, Mr. Duke, I've got this fantastic tune. Would you like to hear it? He said, OK. So he played him this tune, and the Duke then arranged it for his orchestra. And, as I said, recorded it in 1927. And when Joe King Oliver found out, he was very annoyed. And he tried to sue him for compensation for royalties, because he got nothing for it. He didn't win. However, we think that the Duke apologised, kind of, by calling this piece the Love Creole Call. So he's kind of sending his love back to Joe King Oliver to say, I'm sorry for stealing your music, but now it's mine. <laughs> and we're going to start this piece using only seven players. So the first phrase, again, will sound something like the original may have sounded, and then the rest of the band will join, and it becomes a kind of more modern version. So I'd now like to ask Thomas, as our resident Ellington expert, if there's anything that he'd like to add. <laughs> He's finished. <laughs> I'm using this today, not because I want to phone anybody, but I learnt a new German word, which I think is pronounced Unangenehm. <laughs> <laughs> so much of Ellington's music, because it was written specifically for his guys, then some of the tempos of his music are very awkward. They're very unangane. <laughs> so, that's the speed of this one. 